I've had a question about entries to handstands. So which ones should you use? Which ones should you train? Um, I personally think you should be able to do all of them. Now, when I say all of them, the main ones that I look at is the, uh, the gymnastic way. So starting with the hands above the head, so like this, um, and then kicking into handstand. And then the other kick up, which is more the hand balancing calisthenics way of doing it, um, is starting with the hands on the floor and then uh, kicking into handstand. So they're the two main ones in terms of the kick entry. Um, and then the tuck jump, the straddle jump, and the pike jump then normally come afterwards, but I would definitely recommend you train all of those as well. So you'll have uh, the gymnastic kick up, the hand balancing kick up, the tuck jump, the straddle jump, and the pike jump. Now, which one do you learn first? Um, I recommend and I personally coach the hand balancing way, the calisthenics way. So placing both hands down on the floor first, um, unless you're specifically doing gymnastics. So if you're doing gymnastics, then I would go that way and talk to a gymnastic coach. I'm, I'm not a gymnastic coach, I don't have a gymnastic background. Um, but I teach the, the hand balance in calisthenics way. So that's just placing the hands down on the floor first, making sure the shoulders are on top of the hands, pushing the floor away from you, making sure you have lots of weight in the hands. Um, and then the next part, so the distance your feet are away from your hands is gonna be dependent on your limb length um, and your flexibility and your strength. Um, so that's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but the big thing is making sure that the shoulders are on top of the hands, uh, pushing the floor away, so lots of um, weight in the hands and being active through the shoulders. So you want to prepare the body to get for that entry. Now these entries can be practiced um, against the wall um, for the tuck jump, the straddle jump and the pike jump. Um, you can even do eccentrics, so doing the, the down version of it if you struggle with any of them. I'm not going to go into specifics on how I train those today, but I just wanted to cover the difference between them um, and then uh, just recommend that you, you start to investigate and explore those entries. So we have the, um, I personally wouldn't train the gymnastic one, but that's something that you should be able to do if you do all the others. Um, you'll find you could just be able to kick into handstand. So I would just start with that hand balancing one, shoulders on top of the hands, uh, hips nice and high, depending on your flexibility in terms of the distance your feet are from your hands, um, and then kick up and kiss the wall. So to start with, you're just kissing the wall with maybe one foot, uh, kissing the wall with two feet, then kissing the wall so you catch the handstand for a split second before you go to the wall and then doing the same thing freestanding. So that's like the entry for that hand balancing way. Uh, tuck jump, there's mainly two differences with the tuck jumps depending on your flexibility through the, the tucks, uh, the hips. Um, most people find it a bit easier to start with their legs a little bit further apart. Um, but same position in terms of the shoulders on top of the hands, lots of weight in the hands, um, and then do a tuck jump, passing through the tuck so you don't stop in the tuck, just passing through the tuck into your straight handstand. Um, and then whenever you do that entry or any of the other entries, return back through the way you went up. So repeat it on the way back down. So you're just um, making, a, making that pathway, making it very clear to the body which, which direction to go in. With the tuck jump, um, the, the, the harder version is to start with the legs together and keep the legs squeezed together. So that's seen as the, the more um, graceful entry, the more performance entry, is to have the legs squeezed together the whole time. Um, but demands a little bit more for the flexibility, especially for that tuck section. And the straddle is exactly the same. The pike is exactly the same in terms of the setup. Legs are squeezed together, um, or that just slightly shoulder width position. And then as soon as your toes leave the floor, that's where it, um, it changes between the three jumps. So as soon as your toes leave the floor on the tuck jump, the legs stay together and you go through the tuck up to handstand. With the straddle, as soon as your toes leave the floor, they open out and uh, sl like swipe around the outside. So um, going through the straddle, so straight legs. Pike is exactly the same, but as soon as your toes leave the floor, your um, knees are extended and the knees stay extended. So the knees, are, the legs are straight, and then you open the hip up into the um, straight handstand. Most people will find the pike entry the hardest out of all of them. Um, because they're a little bit harder to control because there's that big hip opening without the knees opening at the same time. So it's like a big swing of the legs going up and most people will go over. Um, but like I say, especially with the pike one, um, if you struggle with it, train the eccentric. So kick to handstand, either freestanding or up to the wall um, and then practice the eccentric back down. So it's only a quick one today. I just wanted to cover the um, those entries. I hope that's that made it clear in terms of the ones that I recommend you train. So it's the um, the kick up, 
So the calisthenics uh, hand balancing, one with the hands on the floor first, the tuck jump, the straddle jump, and then the pike jump. So it's four. Um, when someone is um, a little bit more advanced, I normally put in their program that um, to do all four of those in a row unbroken. So first you do repetitions of each separately, and then being able to do a, um, a kick to handstand, a tuck jump, a straddle jump, and a pike jump, all one after the other with unbroken, um, is a real good um, a goal for more of the intermediate level hand balancer. Um, in terms of my training the last couple of days, um, I yesterday I had a little bit of a play session and went onto the, onto the rings, done some muscle ups, some forward rolls, some skin the cats, some 360 pulls, um, and a couple of back levers. Um, so just maintenance of those skills. I don't practice that too much myself in terms of trying to increase the, um, the skill level on those at the moment. Um, I've just got those more on the back burner and I just use them for coaching. So I coach all those skills, but I don't um, actively work to improve them at the moment. And then this morning, which was probably a mistake after doing that last night, or yesterday, Arvo, um, I worked on some 90 degree handstand push-ups. So 90 degree handstand push-ups. Okay, normal deal, stick any comments, uh, request any tutorials, any questions, just DM me on Instagram or um, uh, direct on YouTube. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe, thank you.